Hello YouTube, Fat Man the Beard here. Finally got my horror block. Finally came in. Um, before we get to that, uh, a couple things. Um, the Bruce Campbell can go fuck himself. Giveaway is still going on until this Saturday. Um, and then, so Saturday at midnight will be the cutoff for that. And then I will announce the winner um, on Sunday. Um, also, we are going to Emerald City Comic Con at the end of this month. So stay, uh, stay tuned for that footage as well. Also, I'm going to be doing another video this week. Um, I have so many horror fans that subscribe to me, and I love horror so much that I decided to do uh, top 10 most influential horror films of the last 20 years. Um, and I've been doing some kind of research and stuff on the internet and kind of feeling out what I, I'd like to include on that list. Um, so look forward to that video this week. So that is it. I don't know even what the theme is for Horror Block. For some reason, the theme for Horror Block gets skipped over so much for me. I don't know if it's like I miss it on... On, on the internet, or on Facebook, or YouTube, or whatever, but I never seem to know the theme of, of this, or what's even going to be in this. So I literally have no idea about any of the items in this uh, horror block this month. Okay, let's get to the shirt first here. Okay, that's really cool. Actually, I really dig this shirt. Um, we got a Bride of, Bride of Frankenstein. That's very, very cool. You guys all see that? Very, very cool t-shirt. You know, Horror Block always does a really great job um, with their shirts, and this is definitely one of their um, better shirts. I also really like the Child's Play one and the American Horror Story one as well. Um, so, yeah. All right, let's get to the next item. Oh, okay. It's another one of the slap watches, um, but instead it's got um, teeth. Um, the, I think I got one in Nerd Block, which was the the little ghost from Super Mario Brothers. Um, I'm not going to keep this. I'll probably end up either selling it on eBay or putting it in as part of a giveaway. I, I don't wear a watch, um, so I mean these are cool items, but. Overall, I don't feel like, like, okay, once you give out one watch nerd block, like, you know, maybe wait a year. Um, that's a little little too soon for me. Uh, I'm already seeing one item I'm not going to like. Ugh. But my girlfriend will. Um, so we got a little plushie here. Uh, let's open this up, see what it is. Here, Storm, play with that. Okay, what do we got? Oh. Okay, it's similar to they sent out, remember, you could get an STD. Uh, yeah, you could get an STD, people. Um, remember, they sent out the plushy STDs, and you could get, like, um, I think we got uh, syphilis, and then you could have gotten gonorrhea or chlamydia uh, or something like that. Everybody gets chlamydia at least once, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, there's a, so this is the actual zombie virus is supposed to look like, and it's got little eyeballs, and, you know, um, you know, I don't really know what to do with these kinds of things, they just kind of take up room, we got, we did get a plushy gremlin, which I do have, and it's out, um, and I do, I did really like the plush gremlin, I think it came in one of the nerd blocks, um, but actually the STD we actually used as like a, like a gag gift, um, at a, at a Christmas party, um, the same with this, I don't really know what to do with this. It's too heavy for my cats to haul around, so um, I don't really know what to do with those kinds of things. Those are kind of a, a filler item. Oh, and we've got another book. Guess what it is? Bitten. Which, you know, clearly my girlfriend loves it, um, but... You know, this would be great if you were a 14-year-old girl. Um, but I'm not. Um, I'm not going to curl up with a blanket and a glass of chamomile tea and uh, uh, read this book. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know what to do with this item. Uh, <laughs> but that's just the way it goes. You know, Horror Block, Horror Block, for the most part, is consistently pretty good. Um, but, you know, they, they do throw in those items every once in a while where you're like, eh, it's okay. Um, a 
Okay, there's two more items. One is the Rue Morgan, and I'm going to save the other one for last because I'm, I actually think I know what this is. Um, yeah, so we got, so like I said, they went back to Rue Morgue um, this month. Um, I really like the back. It's got some, it's got some wear, wear wolf cop. Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. Half man, half wolf. All cop. Uh, it's an interesting, yeah, uh, you know, yeah, I like, I like Rue Morgue. Um, they use a better card stock, it's a little sturdier magazine, and they tend to have a few more interesting articles, more interesting articles than, um, and this is Zombie Containment Unit, and I can already tell by what's in it that it's, if you guys remember, some of you might remember back in the late 80s, early 90s, and I believe this started really with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They, they came out with these little canisters of um, the ooze, um, and it was like a real neon-y looking green color, and um, it was this really nasty slime stuff, and I think it worked with some of the toys, like, I don't know, it came out of something. But actually, when I think about it now, I think they even had the slime stuff even maybe two or three years earlier than that. I remember like a He-Man playset maybe uh, had some slime that came with it and it poured out of this thing. I can't really remember exactly. Oh, this thing's locked up like Fort Knox. Let's see if I can get this. Let's see if I, if I can get this little. Oh, there she goes. Oh yeah, it's exactly what I thought it was. It is the ooze. Oh, there's something in it. Oh, oh. Oh. It's like a little... Oh, it's like a little army dude. It's like a little army dude in there. Stuck in there. Yeah, I loved this stuff when I was a kid, man. Ugh. Yeah, this stuff is great. It's all nasty and slimy and... It leaves this weird residue on your hand. Yeah, I always love this stuff. This is this is cool. It's kind of a throwback item. I, I hadn't seen this stuff in years. This is this is pretty cool. So that's it, guys. That's that's all the horror block. Overall, I'd rate this like a like a six out of ten for the month. This isn't. I really like the last war block. It came with the two T-shirts, the Child's Play one and the uh, um, American Horror Story. Um, so I really like those uh, t-shirts. Overall, this is this was this is probably the best subscription box out of, out of all of them. Um, there are a couple other um, subscription boxes I'm looking at right now. Maybe switching out my loot crate for um, one is like a kind of you. It's kind of a build your own type deal. I can't remember the name of it. Um, and then also in April, I'm going to be getting the. Um, the uh, Marvel slash Funko um, subscription box. It's only going to be a six times a year, so you won't get it every month. It'll be in every other month. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, I will hopefully have that um, 20 influential or top 10 influential horror movies of the last 20 years video up this week. Um, but that's it. So yeah, that's it, guys. We'll see you later.